so I have just invest ten thousand dollars in this motorized photography light box I came across this item called the Allosphere Zone during the Hong Kong Jewelry Gem Fair. It is designed mainly for jewelry photography and is manufactured by a small Italian company before being distributed. Its primary function is to capture a consistent white background for your product. At first I thought it was a useless product. After all, why would anyone pay that much for a light box that produced image with a white background when I could easily transform any image with a white background using Photoshop? The reason is simple, it allows you to shoot a mass amount of products. For my job, I need to take more than 100 pictures every week. I shoot a lot of products every month, but since I run my own business by myself, I only have three hours a day to dedicate to photography. I've tried everything from using a traditional light box to flash photography with panels to hiring a professional photographer to help me get more done. It was hard for me to get the same result with these old methods, especially when I was trying to take shots of ring at the same angle. The sphere has a ghost feature that lets user get the same angle and result for both rings and bracelet. The sphere is mostly made of thick plastic. It moves around a bit. However, I've been using it for a week now and despite how it looks, I can say it is pretty solid. The sphere can be open from the top or the bottom. When opening the sphere, it is secured by a magnet which sometimes I found a bit hard to open. When I open the top part of the sphere, the door holds itself and prevents it to fall behind every time I open it and I do open it quite often. It also proves me that they did pay attention to the small details. On the right side of the sphere, is the motor which control the vertical angled view. On the inside there is a turntable and LED light all over the sphere. It comes with different types of table for different type of shooting and also provides some mirror reflectors to play with. For the last there is an external light that you can adjust I suppose it is used to add the drop shadow effect for your products. The sphere comes with its own software subscription free. It is compatible with Mac or PC users. The software allows you to control lightning, the rotation of the turntable and also the vertical rotation. However, it is a bit laggy sometimes and also it is only compatible with certain type of cameras mainly Canon camera I'm not sure if they will update it in the near future so let's try to shoot a product and review how their software works for this demonstration I will shoot a bracelet that I sell So this is uh, their software and uh, on the side here you can uh, control the, uh, the sphere, uh, the lightning, uh, the rotation, the, the angle and, and all the basic stuff. Uh, on the top part, top side of the software you can control your camera. Uh, the aperture, uh, the shutter speed, and uh, yeah, basically all, all everything uh, that is uh, uh, for the camera. So uh, I just I just put my bracelet inside and uh, let's try the the shoot this one. So. Uh, here you can control the, the vertical angle. So let's make it at uh, a bit lower, uh, 44. And uh, here you can uh, rotate a little bit. Like uh, 
Yeah, basically, uh, a bracelet should be shot like like that, I guess. And uh, this here you have the the light control, uh, the front light, of course. Yeah, let's make it a bit bright. The backlight, the diffuse light, which is the light that is all over the, the sphere, the around the sphere, and the spotlight is the outside light. So uh, the software has a built in uh, a focus stacking. Uh, there is uh, three types of uh, focus stacking. The first is a, a interactive multifocus which you select points that you want to be uh, focused and uh, it is, uh, it is uh, made by order like this is the first point, the first shot, second shot, and the, the third shot, the fourth shot and the fifth shot and then you just you just press right here and it will be displayed uh, on the side here uh, sometimes it works but sometimes uh, it doesn't like, like like work like you know but it's fine once you have your shot you can like just stack them and uh, you you can edit them directly on on the yeah on the software itself so here is our picture and uh, uh, what i do uh, normally i will uh, make it uh, turn it uh, into a white background so i i just go here on the equalizer and uh, on the side here you you can see uh, there is a, an eye drop and then you basically uh, select uh, the the parts that you want uh, to be uh, uh, white and once you select you can, there is a preview on the side here and just click apply so yeah you, this is uh, it's okay like it's a bit too bright but uh, you get the idea so on the side here uh, there is all, all there is uh, uh, masking uh, tools the stamp tools and uh, yeah let's take the the, the the square masking tool and then just select this part uh, this part because uh, as you can see there is uh, some dark area that didn't process and then just uh, hit delete like all the, the parts that you think it is not uh, quite good you just delete it like sometimes there is some dust over here like, and then just, just delete so uh, if you think this is like too bright, well, uh, th there is their uh, burn burn tool over here, which uh, which allow you to uh, yeah, make it a little bit uh, uh, this uh, like less less shiny, I think. But I think was uh, this shot is 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 good or right? is it's fine and, uh, and the next step is uh, of course adding a reflection which uh, you select your product you right click on layer and there is some effect you can add a reflection over here so then once you have the reflection, you can you can crop it and uh, and save it. Right. You hit Control R, 
keyboard and control D to deselect and uh, that's it well, now you got uh, a now you got a picture of your product and, and it is all ready to go I will not cover all the function of course otherwise it will take few hours is it worth ten thousand dollars I don't know I'm just a random dude spending 10k on a light box but uh, in my personal opinion I will say it depends on the business model you have if for example you have only a few products then it is, it is not uh, worth the investment but uh, if you have uh, a lot of uh, unique product such as vintage jewelry uh, then uh, it can save you a lot of times having a white background is a major change in my business and uh, it boosts my sales if you find this video helpful uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel so that I can cover more topics on online business and uh, it might be useful to you thank you guys for watching